Hi folks, in this short video I'm going to talk about the confused deputy problem. Um, and this is a topic that comes up in a few places in cybersecurity and my intention is to describe the concept in this short video and we can link to it for where it's relevant. So for example in the context of cross-site request forgery or access controls. So the confused deputy problem is this problem where you give someone permission to do something or a program permission to do something and um, if that program is running with extra privileges it can do extra things that other people can't normally do and there are other users or programs interacting with that program then they might be able to trick that program into misusing its privileges so for example you can imagine a C compiler that um, allows the user to compile a program and it will place that, um, you know, take take some input program and output uh, at executable. Now, if the attacker is able to control the output location, um, because the programmer didn't really think of, you know, the fact if this compiler is running, say, as as a root for some reason, and an attacker is able to say, well, okay, compile this program for me, and I'd like you to go and place it in um, you know slash user slash bin slash password or something um, or bin slash password then they um, if that compiler is not being careful they might just clobber and overwrite an existing system um, binary um, equally a program that can um, read from a file if you trick it into reading from a file that the user is not supposed to be able to access, then you, it would be an example of a confused deputy problem you, where you are com tricking a program into misusing its privileges. Uh, another example might be a um, you might use some access controls that say, well, you're not allowed to delete any files. Uh, but then if you also gave that program permission to run the RM command, and that RM command does have the ability to delete files, then um, you know you could have a confused deputy problem where the um, one the first program is able to misuse RM um, to remove files that the program's not actually supposed to be able to remove, but it through its interaction with another program can remove those files. So any program that's running at a higher privilege than other programs. So for example, on a Unix system, anything that's running as set UID, on a Windows system, anything running as like system um, level um, or as like a privileged um, service, then they need to be programmed really carefully. Uh, another example of confused deputy problem is like click jacking, um, HTTP, uh, sorry, FTP bounce attacks are examples where remote machines can be tricked into acting on behalf of others. And that is also the case with cross-site request forgery, where it's a confused deputy attack against a web browser. So the web browser doesn't know the difference between <clears throat> the user clicking a link and a um, an image tag that has a source with that same link embedded as a source um, that is just initiated from the user visiting a website. Either way, that action is initiated. Um, <clears throat> and it misuses the privileges. In this case, the privileges that are assigned to the web browser as a whole, because the web browser will send the cookies along in for every single GET request that gets made, for example. Um, so that's a confused deputy problem.